being said, you can see not only why I like it, but you can see the pro player. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be talking about the two variations of the AK-74U class setup. Now, a lot of you guys know all the pro players use this weapon, but the what you did not know is about 50%. It's, it's about a 50-50 split. Pros use different attachments on the 74U, and there's a reason for that, and I'm going to explain it in this video and go a little bit in depth. There's a lot to talk about when it comes to the AK-74U and the reason why pro players use different ones. So I'm going to do my best to explain it in this little segment right here, and then we're going to go to some gameplay. I'm going to talk a little bit more about it. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like as always and subscribe to the channel. Now, if you know, most of the attachments stay the same, but the muzzle is a big difference difference maker now most pros use either the muzzle break or the spetnaz compensator and like i said it's about a 50 50 split about 50 percent of pros use spetnaz maybe 60 percent even and about 50 to 40 percent use the muzzle break now when it comes to muzzle break it helps to the vertical recoil control but you can see this has no cons the spetnaz compensator has a negative eight percent to horizontal recoil control now if you know call of duty and you play call of duty you understand that it's easier to control vertical recoil control especially on a controller so you can see in the stats right here with the spetnaz compensator you have 253 hor uh, vertical and then 208 horizontal and with the muzzle brake you have a higher vertical you have 276 but like i said vertical is easier to control and you have a less horizontal which is the 190. so difference is very minimal obviously it's not like holy snap it's such a big difference but you can tell the difference right off the bat. The muzzle brake goes farther, but it's very stable throughout most of the, as it's shooting, it's pretty stable. It doesn't have some weird horizontal kick. It's kind of just goes straight up to the right. And then the, the spent Nas, like it's, it's more controlled, less vertical, but it has that weird left to right recoil because the horizontal kick, and even it goes a little bit more to the right as you're shooting it. So now we're gonna go into some gameplay and I'm actually gonna talk even more about it because there's still so much more to say so it's kind of hard to say which one is better right it's kind of hard to describe like hey that one is better the other is better like which one is actually the better one and i have my opinions at the end of the day since it's so divided i can only say what i think like i can say hey this one is better but at the end of the day um i mean they're both really good they both have their their benefits they both have their the pros and that's kind of what I want to talk about now on top of everything else I want to bring up. The muzzle brake is something I use. I personally like the muzzle brake. Some of the best submachine guns in the game, like a BZ, like some players on FaZe, some players on Dallas. It's funny enough, I think they're kind of split. Like one player on FaZe, one sub uses muzzle, the other sub uses compensator and kind of the same for Dallas. But some of the best sub players in the game right now use muzzle brake. And I personally have used both. And that did not that did not just get stuck two times in a row bro what the fuck? so with that being said you can see not only why i like it but you can see the pro player look at that this is with muzzle you just saw me beam those guys really easily like i just feel like muzzle from range is very very consistent i don't like that random horizontal and like i said on when in a controller it's hard to control that horizontal re that random horizontal recoil like vertical is just easier so yes i'm a big big fan of the muzzle brake you can see i'm just beaming these kids now there's pros and cons to muzzle and comp so one thing i like to describe about compensator spetnaz compensator is that it's easier to shoot closer to medium range without a doubt like it obviously has less vertical recoil control horizontal is more annoying from like range but usually up close like having less vertical and even if you have a little horizontal it isn't as bad so then you make the argument well a submachine gun's job is to have good close range capability right like that's a submachine gun's whole point like you want to be dominant up close so then it questions it like so wouldn't spetnaz compensator just be better but the thing is muzzle brake is just as good up close it just requires you sometimes a little bit more effort and if you're just not being lazy or whatever it is, like I feel like muzzle has more potential and it's just like overall, it's a little bit better compared to Spetnaz. So that's sort of my take on it. Um, like I said, Spetnaz is pretty easy and I, and I get that part and it is pretty effective. It's like slightly effective up close, but muzzle brake can do the same thing. And for muzzle brake's point of view, like you can get some really crazy, like long range kills, like very far. Look, I'm beaming him, and that I probably would have only killed maybe one guy at most right there with the spetnaz. 
like it's just so so much better this guy is twisted but to continue on with the video so my in my opinion i think muscle break is better is it a big difference i wouldn't say so i think they're both almost as equal as each other like i don't think one is way more dominant than the other so that's just like how i view it no ammo i'll do it all baby i'll do it all baby think you got me good try brother i know i'm messing up spawns right now but i just pop my armor plate if you think you can control your aim if you think you don't really struggle with like the 74u um and you I, I just feel like you have a little bit more potential you you know you have a little bit more potential with the, with the muzzle break that's the way i look at it so if you think you can control muzzle break like i think a muzzle break is better in my opinion um but then again it's my opinion like i said before it is very divided if there was like 70 percent and 30 percent like muzzle like if 70 percent was muzzle then i'd be like you know what i can easily confidently say muzzle is better but i've used both i know a lot of pro players that use like either or and i i just can't say like one is extremely better than the other but i would recommend the muzzle break over the spetnaz and i do think it's better so that and that's just my opinion i i think this thing is amazing you can beam people like that off head glitches like very easily it's just in my opinion it's just more consistent like i said you can control vertical recoil a lot easier than you can control horizontal especially on a controller and when you're competing or playing against some of the best players you want consistency that is what you want you want to be able to do that oh good sniper shot though buddy I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I get that kill Spetnaz Compensator. And funny enough, too, I do watch a lot of my kill cams when I'm streaming and stuff. And I see, like, I wonder, like, what are some of these guys using? You know, like, are they using Spetnaz? Are they using Muzzle Break? Like, what are these guys using? I'm, I'm actually very curious. And a lot of the time, especially when I like spectate, like, a really good player, he's usually using Muzzle Break. <laughs> Oh, is that? I don't even know who that is. probably there is. They're very sweaty. I'm dead, man. 63, help me. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I want to apologize because you know what? I haven't been on my YouTube grind. And honestly, it's just a mix of I've been really busy and a mix of I just don't know what videos to make. I'm trying my best to continue to make content. I think once League Play is released, it will be freaking amazing and i can grind content in league play and i'm excited to start some new things when rank play league play comes out and that's hopefully very soon and the grind will continue appreciate you guys for watching make sure to leave a like especially if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment down below which one you prefer muzzle break or compensator i don't know like i said in my opinion i like muzzle break more but let's see what you guys think